Our next witness, Your Honor, is Elizabeth Mars. Mars, M-A-R-S? M-A-R-Z. M-A-R-Z, thank you. All right. Please state your full name for the record. Elizabeth Ray Mars. Between the time that you lived in New York, so let's say 2007, 2008 through 2015, 16, mm -hmm. how many times would you estimate that you saw Ms. Hurd? I don't remember. More than four times? Mm, no. In 2015 and 16, do you recall how close you and Ms. Pennington were as friends? Yeah, we were pretty close. Um, pretty close. Mm -hmm. In your previous testimony, I'll represent to you, Ms. Mars, that you testified that in at least in July of 2016, you would communicate with Ms. Pennington weekly. I don't remember. Maybe at that time, perhaps we were communicating. Like I said, there were moments where we were communicating weekly or daily. Mm -hmm. I agree with me that you would remember something as significant as one of your girlfriends telling you, somebody you've known since Texas when you were young girls, you would remember if Ms. Heard told you that her husband or fiance or boyfriend was beating her. I'm saying you remember that, correct? And your testimony is that you only lived at the Eastern Columbia building in February of 2016 for two weeks? It was around two weeks. I don't know the specific amount of time, but it was definitely a little over two weeks, less than a month. Um, and yes. And when you stayed at the Eastern Columbia Building, did you stay in one of the penthouses? Yes. Okay. And did you understand that that penthouse was owned by Mr. Depp at the time? I assumed it was, yes. Okay. And for what purpose did you go to the Eastern Columbia Building on May 21st, 2016? To assist Raquel in getting ready for a bead show that she was going to be doing the following day. Did you ever see Mr. Depp be violent towards anyone I experienced him that night as um, like I was personally I was scared of him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I, that's all I can say from the moment that uh, the one interaction I had with him that night it was frightening to me his behavior was frightening to me no she wouldn't wear no, makeup I mean I didn't I don't think of her as someone who wears a lot of makeup no. Yeah, you've known her a long time. Right. She's never been somebody that wears a lot of makeup, correct? Exactly. Okay. Unless she's going to something that she needs to put makeup on for. Right. But other than that, she's usually barefaced and beautiful. Yeah. So it's your recollection, your best recollection, mm -hmm. that Miss Pennington was with you in Penthouse 5 and never left with Miss Hurd before Mr. Depp arrived. Is that correct? Correct. So you hear some type of commotion. You don't know where it's coming from, correct? It sounds like, yeah, it's, I mean, it sounds like it's coming from, it, I hear, we hear commotion and then it feels like it's getting closer and closer and closer. Did it sound like voices or did it sound like destruction? It sounded like voices and destruction. That the door was abruptly opened, correct? Abruptly opened. Okay, so you hear the commotion. It feels like it's getting closer mm -hmm. and closer. What happened next? Then, you know, soon after the door slammed open and Johnny came like bursting through the door. Who opened the door? Johnny. Okay. Was Johnny alone? There was the two men behind him okay. following you, him. So Johnny opens the door. He's got his two, what we'll assume are his bodyguards with him. What happens next? So it all happened very fast. He basically, the door kind of burst open and he came in very, just from my perspective, really under the influence of something, drugs or alcohol, because he was very sloppily, like, he looked wasted. He was holding um, a very large bottle of wine, looked like some sort of like a magnum bottle of wine, which was kind of spilling all over the place. And as he opened the door, he just, what I remember what he mumbled was, get your bitch out of here. And I just remember it all happened very fast, like the door slamming, him saying, get your bitch out of here, the wine, that whole, you know, his way, his whole being really frightened me. It almost felt like he was coming towards me from my perspective. 
whether he was coming towards me or not, it scared me. And I just ran out past him. You said Mr. Depp appeared to be either drunk or high. Is that correct? He was seemed to be intoxicated. Okay. Is that different than drunk? <laughs> um, no. I mean, yeah, I guess... Yeah, he definitely seemed like he was under the influence of something. And on May 21st, 2016, how was Mr. Depp's demeanor different? He was, it was much more sloppy and all over the place and frightening and, um, yeah, combative, you know, felt very angry he felt angry and yeah and when you say combative what was combative specifically about mm. his demeanor just the way he burst through the room just very forcefully and rushed in very quickly to the point that it made me want to get past him and run out very quickly like it wasn't an invite it was it was very yeah it was intense okay so mr depp comes through the door to Penthouse 5 and you hear him say something to the effect of get your bitch out of here, correct? Mm -hmm. And then you ran out immediately thereafter? Yes. Okay. Did you see Mr. Depp spill any wine in Penthouse 5 before you ran out? Yes. How much wine did you see him spill? I don't remember. A lot? The entire bottle? Not the entire bottle. What my, so what I remember was it was flailing and it was, there was definitely wine that was coming out. Would you say that being sloppy is different than being combative? Um, yeah, I would say sloppy and combative are two different things. And it's your testimony that Mr. Depp was on May 21st, 2016, both combative and sloppy correct yeah I would describe it that there was a little bit of both of com yes but combative and sloppy was he more sloppy than he was combative it felt more combative than sloppy and just to clarify the only thing that was combative was the words he was speaking no it was his completely the way he entered into the room rushed in his energy the way it felt like he was coming after me like he almost felt like from my where I was standing, it felt like he was charging towards me, and I was scared, and it was, um, it felt, um, it felt, yeah, combative, it felt, I'm trying to look for another word that can describe what I felt, but it was, you know, it was scary. My heart was beating really fast, very quickly, and I was freaked out. <laughs> Okay, so after you exchanged some text messages with Ms. Pennington, you came out of your hiding spot and then went to Ms. Pennington and Mr. Drew's penthouse. Is that right. correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. So who was in penthouse one when you got out of the hiding spot and came to penthouse one? I mean, it was Josh, Raquel, Amber, and I were the people that were at some point in there during that time. Do you remember the first time you saw Ms. Hurd after this incident? I remember seeing her after that, that incident, and it was in the, that apartment. In Penthouse 1? Correct. So, the first time you saw Ms. Hurd after this incident, on May 21st, 2016, was in Penthouse 1. What do you recall seeing the first thing you saw when you saw Ms. Hurd? Mm, I just remember she looked really upset and disheveled and her hair was a mess and she had a swollen face red she had a red swollen face okay had you ever seen miss heard cry before may 21st 2016 i don't think so not that i can remember okay what side of her face was swollen I think it was her right side of her face. Do you have an independent recollection that it was the right side of her face that was swollen? 
I'm taking myself back there and trying to remember like where I was standing versus, you know what I mean? I think it was, yeah, I think looking at her, it was on my left and her right side. Okay, so let's talk about her hair seemed disheveled. Is that what you said? Her mm -hmm. hair was disheveled. Mm -hmm. Was she crying? Yeah, there was definitely tears. Was she animated? Yeah, she was visibly really upset. Okay. So visibly very upset means what? She was crying? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what else? Uh, tears, sadness, felt like confusion, um, felt like those were the main things. Would happened. you describe, what did Mr. Drew say, if anything? I don't remember him saying what he said. I think everybody was just shaken up. So soon after you went into Penthouse One, you remember some police officers coming. To I remember, one. yeah, I remember there was police officers in the hallway. Mm -hmm. okay. Was Miss Heard icing her face after the incident, but before the police arrived? I think so. Who gave her the ice? I don't remember. So you were in Penthouse One when the police came. Um, how do you know that they came? How, what did you hear? What did you see? Um, because it. They, they said the police are here, so I don't, know, I don't remember. Again, this is a very long time ago, so specific details are going to be really hard for me to remember. Okay. I just know, knowing that police were there in the hallway, two of them. And in February, when you lived at the penthouse for a few weeks, you didn't hear or see any abuse by Mr. Depp towards Ms. Heard, correct? Correct. And did you go to Amber and Johnny's penthouse thereafter, yeah. or where did you go next? So I, I just remember at some point ending up, yes, at some point we were in their penthouse afterwards, in Johnny and Amber's. Okay. At some point we went over there. And did you go over there, you think, after the police came? It was after the first two police officers came. Okay. Do you remember Glass? on the floor? At this point in time, I don't remember what I saw. I don't remember if it was cleaned up by the time I got there or if there was glass on the floor when I walked in. Do you recall seeing wine spilled? I recall seeing wine spilled in the hallway, like a lot of wine spilled in the hallway. When do you recall seeing the wine spilled in the hallway? At some point in the night, maybe after, you know, before, uh, I, I recall, I mean, I don't remember specifically, but I remember seeing wine spilled in the hallway. I remember that being one of the things that I saw that was part of the destruction of whatever went, happened. Okay, so the police come, and you stayed in penthouse one. Correct. Okay, it was after the police officers left that you went to penthouse three, correct, where Amber and Johnny lived? Correct. Call seeing wine spilled in the hallway? I remember seeing wine spilled in the hallway, yeah. Okay. And you saw the wine after the police officers came, correct? I think so. Did Miss Pennington take any photographs of the scene? I remember Raquel taking photographs of Amber's face. Okay. And now going to your description of Miss Hurd's face, you said it was the right side of her face. You said it, it was what? Swollen mm -hmm. and red? Mm -hmm. What else? Correct. Um, yeah, it was swollen and red. Was any part of her face more swollen than others? It was around her eye. Had bruising developed already? No, it was red and swollen. Okay. So you did not see any bruising on Miss Hurd's face the evening of May 21st, 2016, correct? I saw a red, swollen, puffy face. Okay. And just on the right side, correct? Correct. Okay. But it, wasn't it your testimony, Ms. Mars, that you were inside Penthouse 
one when the first police officers came to the scene? Correct, correct. Okay. And how much time do you estimate they spent in the penthouses? I don't remember. The second group of officers, there was two sets of officers that came. The second set of officers that I actually um, was in the apartment in PH3, I think it was. Did you hear about either Ms. Hurd, Mr. Drew, or Ms. Pennington cleaning anything that Mr. Depp allegedly destroyed? I don't remember, but I'm, I, I do remember that I, I'm pretty sure that Josh was helping to clean up before I got into the... I remember that knowing that the place was cleaned up before I entered in there. Before you entered into where? Into the main apartment. So you recall Josh Drew cleaning up before you entered Penthouse 3. What was he cleaning up exactly? I just remember by the time that I had got, gotten into that apartment that someone had cleaned up the glass and the wine that had been, that was on the floor. I recall who told you that Penthouse 3 had been cleaned up? I don't, no one specifically told me it was, I'm, what I was expressing is that it was cleaned up before I got there for the most part. I just remember that for the most part, from what I, rem I don't remember. To clarify, Ms. Mars, when you came into Penthouse 3, after the police officers, the first set of police officers came and left, you did not see silver candlesticks, candelabra sticks, broken on the floor, baskets of fruit that had been on the kitchen island, fruit everywhere, baskets on the ground, containers holding the spoons and forks, kitchen utensils spilled, a lamp, a little statue thing, broken in penthouse five. I'm sorry, penthouse three. Now that I'm reading this, I'm sort of remembering that there was like some stuff that had like something that had been broken, like a little stat, like the statue thing kind of sounds familiar to me now that I'm reading this. But again, I don't remember when I walked in if there was, if and I don't remember this being on the, on the floor. Okay. I don't remember seeing it. Okay, so you don't remember seeing it? Yeah, I don't remember seeing it. I don't remember. But again, as I'm reading this statue, when I see the statue, I kind of, there's something that's like, oh, maybe, yeah, I feel like I remember there was some, something that was, some things that were broken, but I don't specifically remember what they were. You did not witness firsthand I didn't what? firsthand anything. I didn't, wit I didn't witness firsthand Johnny abusing Amber. But do you recall testifying to that effect? that Johnny charged at you and then you were scared. He charged towards me and I was scared and I ran past him. You didn't run past him because he told everyone in that penthouse to get out of his penthouse? I ran past him for t because he was, because he ran into the unit and it scared the shit out of me because he was wasted and screaming. So that's why I ran out. If there's a grown-ass man coming at you and saying, get your bitch out of here and swaying a magnum-sized bottle of wine, I'm sure, I don't know what anyone do. <laughs> I can't say what anyone do, but right. I ran out. And will you just remind us what side of Miss Hart's face you recall the marks being on on May 21st, 2016? The right side of her face. Do you feel indebted to Miss Hurd in any way? No. Have you ever done Miss Hurd's makeup? No. You testified earlier today that Miss um, Hurd often, in the times you saw her, would not be wearing makeup. Is that correct? Correct. Is it possible in some of those times that she was wearing the type of makeup we ladies sometimes use to not appear as though we're wearing makeup? <laughs> yeah. So you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell whether or not she was wearing basic concealer or foundation? Correct. Uh, talk to me about the loud noises. What did you hear? Yeah, just um, screaming, yelling, um, door slamming, commotion. Could you tell whether the screaming and the yelling was a male voice or a female voice? From what I can remember, male. And could you tell where the screaming and the yelling was coming from? It felt like it was coming, started 
farther down the hallway and then it was coming like closer. So essentially, I mean, I don't know, but it could have been the hallway. And so after you start hearing the screaming and the yelling and the door slamming and the commotion, you testify that Mr. Drew got up and went to the door? Mm -hmm, yeah. What, what did Mr. Drew do? He was kind of pacing by the door um, and looking through the peephole. And what happened next? And then the door like burst open and Johnny came charging in and screamed again holding the the magnum sized bottle of wine you know flailing it around looked intoxicated kind of stumbling and screamed get your bitch out of here as he ran in my direction and i was scared it, it was very it was very frightening and, and you know just scary and unexpected and so i just darted out past him and ran up towards the pool gym area and hid there. Prior to the night of May 21, 2016, had a man ever charged at you holding a magnum bottle of wine, screaming profanities? Objection. No. And what was your reaction to this event when it happened on May 21, 2016? Fear. Besides the screaming and the door slamming and the wine waving, do you recall anything else about Mr. Depp's actions that evening? During that moment, I guess I should say. Mm. There's erratic, I would describe it as erratic behavior. Was, with, was anyone else with Mr. Depp when he charged into Penthouse 5? Behind him were two men. What about Ms. Hurd? No. What about Ms. Pennington? No. So you testified that after Ms. Depp, Mr. Depp burst into the apartment and started charging towards you, that you darted out and hid in, I believe it's a communal exercise area, is that correct? Yeah, I, I darted out and went up the stairs and hid somewhere over by there. Why did you hide? Because I was scared. Yeah, sure. Sorry, say again, why did you hide? Because I was scared. What were you scared of? I just didn't know what he would do. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what he would do. And the he there is who? Johnny. What were you thinking when you were hiding in the communal exercise area? I don't remember just that I was, I mean, I just remember being scared and not wanting to leave that area until, like, I was clear that there was, that I wasn't going to be attacked. And um, at some point, did you leave the area? Yes. And what prompted you to leave the area? Uh, a text with Raquel, just telling her to come to her and Josh's apartment. And did you do as Ms. Pennington said and go to her and Josh's apartment? Yes. Sitting here today, do you remember what you were thinking as you were sort of coming out of your hiding spot and walking towards the penthouses again? I think, I'm the, whole, I think the whole thing was just bizarre, like really frightening and bizarre to me. I don't, I don't specifically remember what I was thinking other than like, holy shit, what the fuck just happened, you know? Um, and is he gone? Maybe I was thinking that. I don't remember specifically. And when you say, is he gone, who's the he you're referring to there? Johnny. When you got to Miss Pennington's and Mr. Drew's penthouse, um, who'd you see? Who was there? I don't remember who was specifically there when I first walked in, but throughout the time being in there in that moment, definitely Amber, Raquel, and Josh. 
And maybe like just by peeping into the hallway, one of the police officers. <coughs> When you saw Ms. Hurd after you came back down from your hiding spot and you're in Mr. Drew's and Ms. Pennington's apartment, how did she look? She looked frazzled and just completely um, disheveled. Her hair was all over the place. She had a swollen face, um, looked like she had been crying, and yeah. Do you think the swollen face was a result of her having been crying? No. What do you think it was a result of? It looked like she'd been like hit in some way. Like it was definitely, it was not from crying and she had markings on her face. Were the marks that she saw in Ms. Hurd's face after you came down from your hiding spot present when you had been hanging out with her earlier in the day? No. You testified earlier today that you witnessed some, I believe it was Mr. Penny, Ms. Ms. Pennington or Mr. Drew, take some photos of Ms. Hurd's face. Do you remember that? Yes. Um, I'd like to mark what will be Mars Exhibit 13. Um, Ms. Mars, as the court reporter hands you Exhibit 13, I'll represent to you that these were some photos taken on the night of May 21st, 2016. So if you turn to the second photo in the set, do you recognize the person in this photograph? Yes. Who is it? Amber. And do you see any marks on her face in this photograph? Yes. And do these marks look like the marks that you saw in person on her face on the evening of March 21, 2016? Yes. And just to clarify, these marks were not on her face when you saw Ms. Hurd earlier that same afternoon and were helping Ms. Pennington make beads. Correct. There are other photos in this set. Um, why don't we turn back to the first one? Some broken frames on a bed. Do you know what this picture is of? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is Amber and, and Johnny's bed. And there's, bro there's photographs on it. So I take it that you've seen Amber and Johnny's bedroom before? Yes. Do you recall whether you went into Mr. Depp's and Ms. Hurd's bedroom that night? No. No, you don't recall or no, you didn't? No, I don't recall. Um, the next photo on the set is the picture of Ms. Hurd. Just after that, there's a photo, you're with me, of what appears to be a, a hallway. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. Do you recognize what this is an image of? Yes. What is it an image of? It's the hallway between all the penthouse apartments. So you've been on this hallway many times? Yes. Uh, do you see the sort of red staining on the right-hand corner of the page? Yes. Um, do you recall seeing that red staining the night of May 21, 2016? Yes. And what was it? It was wine. So you saw that staining on the night of May 21, 2016? Yes. Do you recall whether it was there when you arrived in the afternoon? I don't remember seeing it, no. So when was the first time you remember seeing it? Um, I think when I came out of my hiding spot and came downstairs back into Raquel and Josh's apartment. But you didn't see the wine get spilled? Not this, no. You saw other wine get spilled? I saw, yeah, as he was, and when he came in the apartment, with, when he was flailing the wine. And the he there is? Johnny. Then the last photo in this set appears to be of some picture frames hanging on the wall. Do you see that? Yes. I think it's in Amber and Johnny's apartment, I think. But again, I don't remember if it's in her studio. I don't know. Do you recall seeing this photo in one of the penthouses before? <clears throat> yes. And when you saw it, was it broken? No. And what, if anything, do you remember about Miss Pennington's state? Also, distraught, upset. You'd been friends with Miss Pennington for many years at that point, correct? Correct. Had you ever seen her similarly distraught? Mm, not similarly, but seen her sad. But had you ever seen her have the same reaction that she had that evening? No. So you also testify that you saw Mr. Drew in his and Ms. Pennington's penthouse. 
Um, what, if anything, do you remember about Mr. Drew's state? I just remember him being just a grounding energy, just trying to be supportive to Amber and to Raquel and just really trying to be like a, the man in the situation that was gonna like really be grounded amongst like women that were sort of like frightened and sort of a little more frantic. He was very grounded and very like clear and I remember like feeling safe with him. Like he was, it was like protection. You testified earlier today that quote, there are some things that I really remember and some things that are a little shady. End quote. Which bucket do the marks that you saw on Miss Hurd's face on the evening of May 21, 2016 fall into? The things that were a little shady or the things that you really remember? That I really remember. All right. Your next witness. Next witness, Your Honor, is Melanie Inglesis, and right. that is also by video. And I will say that that begins with Ms. Vasquez questioning first, and then, okay. then I come back. All right. And can you spell it last name just for the court it's order? It's I-N-G-L-E-S. 